What a vile phantasm I had become. And a profound sense of injury, of loss and betrayal, welled up in me, so overwhelming I could barely contain it. All I wanted at this moment was to find Cain and destroy him. At last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? <laughs> Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never contain such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. Our future are predestined. Mobius foretold mine eons ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. Free will is an illusion. I found the tomb of Saraphan Cain. How could you profane a priest by turning him into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel and his enemies even closer. Who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? The Seraphan were saviors, defending Nazgul from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Saraphan were noble, altruistic? <laughs> oh, don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. This drama unfolds completely. Destroyer, Pawn and Messiah. Welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. Where am I? Is the usual question. In your case, when might be more? Very well, you old snake. If you'd prefer I use my bare hands. Well, this is completely unexpected. This orb disables our vampire enemies, leaving them helpless and incapacitated. Strangely, it seems to have the same effect on that peculiar weapon of yours. 
But you must believe me. I mean you no harm. You can drop the benevolent facade, Mobius. I know who and what you are. I should kill you where you stand. <laughs> Perhaps you should, my boy. But you don't. Are you so certain of that, Mobius? My role as Time Guardian affords me a certain level of omniscience, Raziel. No, you don't kill me. That honor belongs to your maker, Cain. Some 30 years from now. Ah, you two are a pair. You're just as fatalistic as he is. Death comes for us all, Raziel. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. How is it that you know my name? We have never met. On the contrary, Raziel. I know you very well. And it grieves me to see how cruelly Cain has used you. I knew you when you were one of the Seraphim Brotherhood, Raziel. We were even close. Oh, please. Fortunately, you need not love me now to be my ally. Are we within the stronghold of the Seraphim Priesthood? Yes. But the glorious days of the Seraphim have long since passed, I'm afraid. This is a more cynical and indecorous age. My mercenary army now inhabits this stronghold. We strive to honor the memory of the Seraphan with our own humble crusade. Is this the Vampire Vorador? Yes, the scourge of the Circle, the most depraved and decadent example of his whole degenerate race. He slaughtered six of my fellow guardians as they cowered defenseless in this room. And you somehow survived this massacre? I and two others. The circle was devastated. Only we three were spared. How convenient. You'll forgive me if I don't naively devour every scrap of information you toss me. You have a reputation for deceit. And who has slandered me, sir? Your malefactor, Cain? The one who betrayed and destroyed you? Our common enemy? Consider the source before you judge me too harshly. We'll forget about rekindling our old friendship then. But consider an alliance based on our common ground. We both want Cain dead. I can help you do it. You don't want to meddle in this, old man. I know all about your sordid little schemes. But you're simply out of your depth on this one. You underestimate me, Raziel. Let me show you. Even now, Cain is lying in wait for you, unaware that I've snatched you out of the time stream and brought you here to me. See how he lingers at the very pillars he is destined to destroy, foolishly confident that he has eluded your grasp. The pillars are still standing in this time. Yes, Raziel. They are the embodiment of the divine force which preserves the life of our world. We who serve the pillars maintain their delicate balance, and Cain is destined to be the fulcrum upon which that balance turns. I believe you have already endured the wasteland wrought by his terrible, selfish decision. Cain's very existence is a cancer upon this world. As long as he lives, all of Nosgoth is in peril. You may never again be human, Raziel. But you can re-embrace the essence of your humanity and the nobility of your Seraphim heritage. Go to him, Raziel, and end this. But first, you will need to find your way out of the stronghold, and in this, I'm afraid I cannot help you. My soldiers will not understand your appearance here. They will try to kill you. You needn't fear them, of course. They're no match for you. Try to keep the casualties to a minimum. But do what you have to do. All great movements require a few martyrs. Alone now, 
I surveyed my surroundings and noticed a second time-streaming chamber, its entrance identical to the first, but with one distinction. That crystal was significant, but how, I had not yet discovered. Cain refused the sacrifice.